So today I'm going to be showing you how to make custom labels using a thermal label printer. The website that we're using is called Canva and you'll want to sign up for a free account. Once you've signed up then you can log in and you'll see their main screen. So under your projects is where you can see everything that you've made. Yours will be empty unless you've used Canva before. So here you can see the scent labels that I've designed to print using my thermal label printer. Um, these are great because it prints really quickly and it doesn't use any ink. So it makes it a nice cheap way to label your products. Here's an example of what mine look like. And then I also like to use them for contact labels. So I'll show you an example of that. The QR code takes them to my Facebook group and then the website one takes them to my website. Thermal label printers are great at printing anything you would like in black and white and I like to keep the design simple. So first go to create a design, then go to custom size, then you're going to put in the size of your labels and make sure the width is your side to side and your height is your up and down. So mine are three by one and a half. Now it's nice because off to the side they give you some options. Elements add shapes. Upload lets you upload a new picture. Photos will look at your photos. And then text is how you add words. So here you can type whatever you want. You can adjust the side by clicking on the circles. Up at the top you can see the options for fonts. The stars are going to charge you extra money. And then anything that doesn't have that star is going to be free for you to use. So I just use the free ones. So you can go through, choose a font that you like the best, and then once you've selected a font, then you can play around with the sizing. Here's where you can change the size manually if you'd rather type in a number, or you can always use those circles at the edge to pull it to be the size that you would like. Here you can go add more text, so I'm going to add a subheading, and then that's where I'm going to type the warning for my freshies. I like to keep the warning on these pretty simple because otherwise it looks messy. Um, so here I'm just going to type in what I want to say, and then I'm going to make sure that it's formatted how I would like it to be. So you can use those arrows to change the angle and move them however you want. You can also upload media or go to elements and see some that Canva provides. So here there's a heart, or I can also look up polka dots, and then it'll show me all the polka dots they have available. Just avoid the ones with the crowns unless you want to pay. So you can put these in wherever you want. I'll show you an example, and then I'll delete them for my final label. Once you're finished, you can go up and make sure that it's saved, and then you can go to share and click on download, and then I like to do it as a PNG, and then I just click download. Then you can find it in your download folder. So now that it's downloaded, I'll go find it in my downloads folder, and I'll just click it to open it. Then you can use your computer to go to file and print, and then here, make sure you've selected your label printer. Mine's a Munbin. And then when I first print a new size of label, I can look through these and see if it's on the list, but sometimes I have to go down to add custom size. Then I hit that plus, and then I go in and add the width, which for me is three, and the height, which is one and a half. And then I like to take out the margin so that it doesn't mess with the design that I've created. Once you have those set, then you can go to OK. And then I make sure that I have that new preset clicked on when I go in to choose the size. You can adjust the number of copies and that's how many it will print out of your label. So here I'm just going to do 26 or 30, however many you need is how many you can print. I'll just do one since this is a practice. Once you have all of those ready, you can go check out your printer sizes. Um, you can change your speed if you want to slow it down or speed it up and then you can click print. So I'm changing the view over to my label machine. Here's how you can put in the new labels. So you push that circle, and then I've just taken my labels and threaded them through and made sure that those black notches are fitting it tightly. So this holder I just lift up there to replace the label sizes, and then I just pull it through and thread it through my machine, making sure that it's snug so that it pulls through straight. Then you just line it up with the very bottom edge of that black roller, and then I can close the top and that's going to tell the machine to start pulling the labels through.
Then your printer will print out your new labels and then you can go design something else. Hopefully this was helpful. If you thought it was, then please subscribe and like so that you're notified of any other videos that I post in the future.